Welcome everyone to Interstellar Transport Company, a game that was recently released through the Steam platform after going through the early access program. And before we hop into the game, let's go ahead and run through the options really quick. So we'll start out with the sound settings, very basic here. Everything is at default with the exception of the music volume, which I've turned off for YouTube reasons. Moving on to the graphic settings, again, very minimal settings. You've got uh, a quality setting. Uh, we're at 1080p, and then you've got some galaxy dust that we'll see here momentarily on the screen once we get the game loaded up and running. Uh, control settings, not a whole lot to worry about here. Your basic W, A, S, and D keys will do a lot of the work for you. And then you can use the mouse either through the scroll wheel or the left or right buttons in order to perform quite a few functions. So that's really all you need to know for the most part about the game. But if there are additional keys that you want to use, then they are certainly available. If we go under other settings, you got a basic brightness function there. You got tool tips, uh, edge scrolling, and so on. So very basic menu options to get us started. And before we head into the single player, you notice that you've also got multiplayer and then there's some tutorials as well. I have avoided the tutorials because I really enjoy learning as we're playing the game. So I've spent just a little bit of time in the game, just basically enough to get the gist of it and make sure it was a game I wanted to bring to the channel. So we're going to click on single player and as well as loading or continuing a game, we have an option for two different types of game starts. We're going to be using the predefined game, but there's also a custom game where you can define all of the starting conditions that you would prefer as well as the number of AI companies you want to compete against. You can see we've got several different difficulty levels and each of these will show the difficulty level not only for us as the player but also for the AI. So as we move our way down the list it becomes more and more difficult for us as the player until finally we get down to solely responsible where there will be no AI companies and a total of 30 stars. So basically, uh, it's going to give you a lot of money, million dollars up front, and give you the ability to do pretty much whatever you want from the very beginning. For our purposes, we're going to choose normal, which is about the best option I can see as far as the starts between us and the AI. The AI do receive a little bit of extra starting cash, and they do not have a starting loan to worry about. Uh, but other than that, it's fairly equal, or at least as equal as I think we can get it right now. Uh, for our company name, we're going to use a very basic Neepit Gaming Transport Company. And our company color is going to be very bright, so hopefully we will be able to see this very easily on the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and click Accept and let the game load. Alright, so the game has now loaded and we're ready to begin. And this is a procedurally generated universe. Now we're going to have our basic uh, solar system here to get us started, but everything else is procedurally generated. And you can see we've got a lot of star systems around, but we're going to start here in Sol, which is approximating our current solar system. So we're going to have the Earth over here in green with the Moon, Mars, and so on uh, as we move around. As we hover over each of the different planetary bodies, you notice that we get some information that pops up about the habitability, population, and the availability of various resources. If we go ahead and click on one, for instance, the Earth. Now we are currently going in slow motion, so let's go ahead and, and pause that, make sure we're not going too far into the game and letting AI get ahead of us. So once we click on any of the bodies, in this case, Earth, we'll get an idea of the supply and demand of various resources. In this case, the Earth has a supply, food, water, consumer goods, and some other miscellaneous things in smaller quantities. The demand is mostly for luxuries and also somewhat of a demand for rare resources. So those are the items that we could trade uh, in and around Earth with if we come over to the moon, then you'll notice that they have a heavy supply of rare resources, which matches up nicely to what the earth needs. Uh, and they've got plenty of them, but what they need is food and water. So very quickly, you can see some opportunities there for us to get busy and set up some trading routes. 
So what we're going to do at the very beginning, there are a few steps we need to undertake. Uh, first, I'm going to click on Earth, and we're actually going to construct a research station. I want to go ahead and do this. It's going to cost us 80000 and then a small weekly cost. And it's going to give us four research per day. Research are going to be at the top of the screen in the middle. Right now, we have no research. So let's go ahead and construct that. And then as we move along through some different research options, we'll be able to upgrade our research station. Or if we want to mothball it, then that means simply turning it off so that it doesn't cost us anything moving forward. Okay, so now that we've got that set up, and again, we're still on pause right now until we get our very beginning steps taken care of. So what we're going to do is we need to purchase a couple of spaceports. And these are the spaceports that you see littered around the area. In this case, there are several of them. Uh, a few of them are already owned by our AI competitors. So we're simply going to choose one here at the bottom. Doesn't matter which one it is. That doesn't seem to have anything to do with the speed or uh, efficiency of your route. So we're going to go ahead and lease this gate. And our first trade route is going to include the moon, which, as you can see, already has uh, quite a few people in there, 8.3 million in population, so not bad at all. It's only 6.76% developed, so they got a lot of development uh, that still needs to happen. So that means a lot of opportunity for us. So we're going to lease a gate here. So that gives us a gate on each of the areas we're going to be trading with. Now we need to set up our first trade route, which is done in the top left-hand corner. We're going to click on New Route and then Add Stop. So our first stop in this route is going to be Earth. And then we're going to add a stop over here to the Moon. Then we've got several options down here. By default, everything is on Don't Wait. I'm actually going to uh, do Wait for Full Load on both Food as well as water because that's what we're going to be dealing with mostly here at the very beginning and let's see anything else uh, I tell you what let's don't do that with water because we're not going to be picking up any water when we are at the moon so it's not going to be quite as profitable but delivery routes um, I think we're all set we're going to leave most of these options alone except for the food which I do want uh, to wait till we have a full load, which shouldn't be an issue early on, but no need to make excess trips as time continues. Now we've got we got a couple of spaceports. Now we have a route between those two spaceports. We need a ship. So we've got two options. Right now we can start out with a disposable rocket. It's You can see it's one-time use, so once we launch it, it's not coming back. It's going to stay at the destination, so it's a one-time use, and here you can see it's got a total of five cargo slots. So fairly cheap, $935. Should make it pretty simple to achieve a nice profit, but again, it's a one-time use product. Then we have the Doing 909, which is considerably more expensive, but has quite a bit more cargo and obviously is prepared for round trip travel as time goes on. So we have 20 cargo base slots here that we have many different options of what we want those cargo bay slots to be. At the very top, we start out with a dry climate controlled uh, cargo bay, which can hold food, rare resources, or refugees in the case of a planet that is having a lot of trouble and people are just trying to escape. As we move down, there's machinery, robotics, uh, raw materials, and other such things like water and so on, and even passengers. So we have passenger seating for tourists and things of that nature. So once we set these up, and for right now, I think we want all of these to be the dry goods. Okay, so we're just going to max that out. So 20 out of 20 is taken care of there. And we need to choose our route, which we only have one route right now. And then where do we want the ship to be delivered? We want it delivered to Earth. And do we want it to launch immediately upon being completed? Yes, absolutely we do. And let's see, five loading days and days until delivery, 25. So we got a little while uh, to wait. So once we get this one ordered up 
and there you can see the money flying out as well as at the top of the screen so we're down to 147.9 so now let's actually uh, get rid of the dry goods in this one and we're going to set one up fully for water that will go back and forth now the problem with this one is that there's not going to be any water coming back or liquid at all coming back from the moon so this is uh, we're going to have empty load coming back and that's certainly not good for our profit but it gets us up and running in the game and that's really the main uh, point we're going to keep the route and deliver to the same so let's go ahead and order that ship as well all right and we'll get the game up and running here you can see that all your planetary mechanics are happening we've got orbits and whenever we fly between planets then we're going to have to deal with trajectories now we won't personally have to deal with those but we'll be able to see our ships going in trajectories so that they will intercept for example mars we can't just drive straight over because by the time we get there mars won't be there anymore so we're going to have to adjust and that is one very neat part of the game so let's go ahead and i'll tell you what before we go to fast forward a little bit let's take a quick look at mars because this is another great destination uh we're actually going to go there's only two gates available you can see it is not very uh well developed right now let's go ahead and get one of those uh in fact let's go ahead and get both of them that means that for the time being we are the only ones that can do business on mars so they're looking for oh they're already gotten some extra ones there so we've got food and water that they need as well as a lot of machinery and that's the basics you can see we've also got colonists that they have a need for so we're going to try to fill some of those needs all right and in order to do that uh let's actually decide what do we want to do about this it's not really all that profitable for us to use uh, the more expensive ship for the round trip uh, it's probably going to be more cost effective to use the rockets uh, so we'll see how that goes let's do new route add stop and we're going to go from earth oh we do not want to save right now choose earth and add one more stop over here to mars okay good so now we have our second route up and running now we need to order some rockets so what do we want to be in these rockets again we only have spot for five cargo so what we're going to do is we're going to make this one all dry goods so that we can load it up with food we're also going to do some uh, that we will send machinery over which is right here we'll be doing that and let's see force this rocket to not be reordered regardless of the route is assigned to be configured okay so this would turn off reorder we want to leave that on actually so we're going to have this one is going to be loaded up with food let's order that now we've got a tool tip that's popped up you can set rockets to automatically reorder once they deliver their cargo which is seems to be what this would be blank to do this go to the route screen and select the the route this rocket is assigned to then click the small rocket icon button in the middle of the page okay well let's try that let's come in and we want earth mars and let's see where is that at it's set in the center of the screen all right reordering enabled okay good so we're going to keep that order up and that could be hugely important for us as time goes on now you notice that time is moving rather slowly we are on speed number one if you look in the top right hand corner so we'll be speeding that up as time uh, goes on but let's see reordering is enabled on this one we're not gonna have to worry about that with uh, the Luna so that shouldn't be a problem however it has just occurred to me that let's see what do we have we've got ships what are our ships let's go ahead and manage our starships here and so how did this work we have these up but we don't have any others did i not order that other one let's take a look again let's go under purchase new ships one-time use 
we want this. This is what I was worried that I messed up, and I think I did mess that up. So we got rocket. Uh, we want this to be the dry goods for food. Earth, Mars, direct. And order ship. And okay, there it is. Okay, so Earth to Mars. And that is excellent. So we've got several different options, but before I forget it, let's go back over to our route and reordering is enabled. Okay, excellent. That's what we wanted. Uh, now we're going to do another rocket, but this time it is going to be for machinery. So Earth, Mars, direct, deliver this one to Earth. And let's see, I think that is everything we need. Let's go ahead and order that one as well. And let's take a quick percent. You can see we've already got one rocket that is on its way. So let's go ahead and see if we can find that. Here is the route, and there we are. So again, that bright green that we have. And so that's us carrying five out of five food. All right, excellent. And so if we come back in here, uh, it looks like, oh, manufacturer needs gate. That's because we only have one gate right now on Earth, but we're trying to run uh, multiple ships out of this. So uh, let's go ahead and spend a little extra money here to pick up another gate. Again, it doesn't really matter which gate we get. So that'll give us two gates as we work our way through. And we're going to do the same thing here on the moon. Let's just make sure that as time goes on, uh, we have everything that we need. So let's go ahead and zoom back out. There goes our second rocket. Now, what I'm really interested to see, and you can see these rockets are moving along pretty quickly. If we had the this, this standard uh, ship going, it would go much slower and would have to take a different trajectory. All right, so right now what we have going is two different routes, and we're making money on both of them. But in order to find out exactly how much money we're making, the easiest way I have found to do that is either to pull up this particular screen where we manage our ships or simply come in here, double click, and it brings up a small window which I can put over in the corner. Now, if I want to make this window bigger or smaller, I can use the right mouse button. Hold down that and it enables me to resize that window. So what I'm going to do is we're going to bring this up for each of these guys. And let's try to get it reasonably close to the same. We're not going to worry too much about it. All right, that's close enough. And so again, double click there. We should have automatic reorder on. Let's try that again. There we go. And now with this last one, uh, we're going to have to cover up some of these options at the bottom. Fortunately, uh, we don't really need these options right now. They're certainly helpful, but they're not imperative that we have them right now. All right, so we got each window is a little bit different size, but that's okay. The biggest thing is we're going to be able to very quickly glance up and see the profitability. And immediately we see 38.5, so 38,500 for our very first ship, which is loaded with food primarily, as opposed to our second ship, which is only made 13,300. And that is because it is only carrying water one way. So that return trip is what we need to really uh, kick in the profits. But for right now, that is perfectly fine. All right, so you notice that our rocket uh, disappeared over here. I was wondering if it was gonna stay upon the reorder and it does not. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that uh, since it's gonna disappear very soon anyway. But now you notice that the reorder did happen automatically. So that is really good. We're in good shape so far. So our profit is coming right along. Uh, let's actually scroll back out a little bit. And again, you get out in here, we get into Jupiter, Saturn, and so on, the different moons involved with that. So we're dealing with the Earth, the Moon, and Mars right now. And let's look and see if there's any other uh, spaceports available right now. I don't know that there is. Uh, let's go ahead and speed up time a little bit more. 
And I don't know, has anything been colonized over here? Now this is a weird looking angle to get this. Let's try to move this around so we can at least read it. All right, population zero. And then of course we've got several additional moons over here. No population on any of these. So it looks like Mars is the only other option right now. We've got habitability on a few of these other planets, uh, such as with Mercury. But that seems to be it as far as uh, current population. So what will happen is as time moves along, the government, in this case from Earth, will send out uh, colonists to one of these other planetary bodies. And so far, just in my quick time playing, I actually saw one go over to Ganymede, uh, one of the moons out here. And then I saw another one go to, I want to say it was Mercury, it was headed out to, just in my brief time of playing. So we shouldn't have to wait too terribly long before that starts to happen. Uh, let's actually head over to Mars and let's see what we've got. So machinery we're taking care of, food we're taking care of, water we need to take care of. Uh, let's go ahead and, and buy some more rockets, or at least one more. So we're going to do a rocket, and let's see, we want this to be for water. And so we want Earth, Mars, deliver this to Earth, and I think that's what we need. So let's go ahead and order that up, and it should show up down here. There we go, on order. So we've got a couple of them on order right now. All right, so this will give us an opportunity um, as we see some, some different news items scroll across the bottom. This will give us an opportunity uh, to look at some of the options that are available for each of these uh, ship types as we click on them. So our Doing 909, our very first one that we ordered, we have a couple of options. We can always change the name by clicking here. Uh, we can try to change the route that the ship is on by choosing this option. And of course, we can see what it's currently outfitted with there. So no problems uh, there. Fuel cost, maintenance cost, and so on. Uh, our profit, quite nice so far. But of course, we want that to uh, continue to grow. And then we've got options to uh, assign this ship to a group. We can view the route. We can actually select this for the camera. We can focus the camera on this particular ship. We'll do that here in just a moment. And then next we have uh, make an adjustment to the ship's cargo bays. Right now, we are fully invested in uh, the dry goods, which is mostly food in our case. Uh, also used for rare resources, which is what is coming from uh, the moon. We can also try to upgrade. Right now, we don't have uh, any research that has unlocked additional upgrades, but in the future we'll have that available. We can also very easily order a duplicate ship of this one. That could make things uh, really nice. And just as we're going through this, I notice at the very bottom a ship has been sent out to start a new colony, colony on Ganymede. All right, so we know where we're headed next. And so to finish up our options for the ships, we also have the option to sell this particular ship. So not bad at all. Right now we've got a lot going on. And let's see where that ship is headed over to Ganymede. And as we scroll out, there you can see it, colonization ship. And it shows us the distance. We're at about 3.5 uh, units away. And so we're headed over here to Ganymede. And let's see what's going to be available on Ganymede. It's got water. Uh, it does have some raw materials. Very nice. We're probably going to be sending food over here would be my guess once things get set up. So if we click on this, you can see there's nothing here right now. So nothing uh, for us to purchase or to set up. So we'll see how it goes. Now we could construct a uh, research station once some things, some criteria are met, but we're not quite ready for that just yet. All right, so if we come back over to Earth, our research station is level one, and so far we have 900 research points. So let's actually go ahead and uh, let's click on our research. 
I'll tell you what, let's back out of, yes, let's back out of that. So we only have one at a time on the screen. All right, so the first thing we could do is we could get a Doing 919, which has, it appears, uh, it says it's a slight upgrade over our existing 909. So probably not going to do that first. Uh, of course, it costs 1100 We're at 952 right now. So let's see. Oh, I like this. 3% uh, additional speed on all ships inside the star system. Okay, we're certainly with uh, inside the star system. And it's going to give us access to uh, additional research, such as the Level 2 Research Station. So I like this one. Let's go ahead and research that. It will take 900 research points. So now we're down to 92. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. We'll let that regenerate and then we will attempt to learn some more. So we want our ships going as fast as we possibly can. All right, let's check in on, there is Ganymede. So now we've got a little bit going on here, not quite enough for us to purchase a spaceport just yet but uh, we do have a small population that is up and running uh, 180,000 currently there so we'll keep an eye out uh, for that one now is there any other places I think that's the only one that's been sent out right now uh, let's check Mercury is not colonized Venus not colonized now in the future we'll be able to subsidize or sponsor some of this stuff but for right now we just don't have the research available to do that. All right, so really quickly, let's look. We're at 174,000, so money is going uh, pretty nice, actually. Uh, we'll keep an eye out for our different ships, making sure that they are carrying what we need them to carry. Let's go ahead and where are these guys? They're going to Ganymede. How are they going to Ganymede? Let's see. I don't see any spaceports. All of these options, uh, you can see there is an empty slot uh, available. Let's see what is here. Need to move some things out of the way. Uh, let's see. Oh, upgrade spaceport. I didn't see that before. So that might be very help helpful for us. Uh, build a local office. What is that going to do? It's going to give us reputation. Okay, that's nice. Maintenance hangar will reverse some deterioration. Okay, very nice. Uh, shuttle services. Uh, we have not met that. We need to do some research first. Uh, security services. Okay, not bad. So we've got a lot of, and then we got a lot of different factories uh, that we can subsidize here, but I don't see a way for us to build a landing area so can we how do we do that so this is one of those I get to learn on the fly let's move these back over and out of the way so Ganymede as you might expect needs food water and oh consumer goods they are going to be supplying I think we can use that as dry goods um, on our ships let's take a look uh, no we cannot where is that located? Consumer goods. There we go. Okay, that's not terrible. So I'll tell you what. I don't know how profitable this is going to be. But uh, what we're going to do is go 10 of the dry goods. And then consumer goods. Let's make sure that's what it is. Yes, medicine, luxuries, all that kind of thing. We're going to go 10 there. So we're going to split this one up and all right that'll be good so we'll have to come back to that one here in just a moment so we need to set up our route first new route we're going to be going from earth and let's see did it get i don't think it got earth there it is so we popped in there new route over to ganymede okay there we go so now we can hop over to our rockets. Now the easiest thing to do right now would be to simply purchase more of these Sparrow rockets, but I want to go ahead and set up, uh, I have more fun with the 909s, quite frankly, setting up this 
uh, this round trip travel. So we're going to go 10 and 10 on this one. Uh, make sure it's going to Ganymede, deliver it to Earth, and launch it immediately when available. Uh, some spaceports on this route are too small for this ship. Okay, well, I guess that takes care of that then. So let's go ahead and reconfigure. So we need an upgrade in the spaceport before we're going to be able to land on Ganymede. All right, so again, not the end of the world. So we're going to go ahead with uh, the dry goods and go ahead and order that ship. Okay, so these guys have beat us to the punch. They already had some uh, up and running. So now let's go into the route, uh, Ganymede, and let's highlight this option so that this should turn on to reordering, and it does. Okay, yes, it is highlighted on both of the routes that we're using for this. So we'll have some automatic reorder. Let's actually hover over some of these that are headed there. So we've got machinery. We've got water, it appears. And lots of water. Dry goods. So yeah, you can see there's pretty basic as to what is going on right now. And let's take one more quick look. So we've got food, water, and machinery. So I think what we're going to do now is we're going to do rocket and not dry goods this time, but we're going to do machinery. So that way we'll have uh, two rockets that are on their way to Ganymede. And let's go ahead and order that. Pull up our ship screen and let's take a quick look and see what we've got. So everything seems to be working. This is the first rocket we just ordered a few moments ago. And so they're both done. We're loading here in transit. Now both are in transit. So let's head out here and take a quick glance. Let's see if we can find ours. So there we go. There's our first one. So yeah, we were a little bit behind the AI companies on this one. But our money so far is, is going well. Let's see, where is our other, other ship? Was it up here? Yes, there it is. There's our other one. I was wondering when the second one was going to come out, but that was the second one. That's going to do it for today. Thank you very much for joining me, and stay tuned as we will continue our gameplay series of Interstellar Transport Company.